Herman, I know a little bit about John Carmack programming Doom. Yeah. And it's a 3D game, but he programmed it so it's not 3D. But I don't know how he did it. Like, can you explain how he made Doom that it scrolls the way it does and all that? Well, there's a huge amount of math behind the scenes to get that Doom thing to be 3D. So there's like a lot of projection and like a lot of mathematical concepts. I don't understand most of them either. Um, there is also uh, like walls, like you have to be on the right side of the wall so that you don't show what's behind the wall, but only what's before the wall. And so he had a lot of trick patterns uh, under his sleeve to program those things. Wow. And in some cases, let's say uh, you needed to divide by the square root of the distance um, very, very fast. And so he came up with a crazy ass method to do that division by the square root by just shifting some bits and pieces of data and not even doing any math. So wow. it was just amazing. People would look at it and say, what the hell? And so that worked. So it was a 3D game. It looked 3D, but it actually was not. Is that right? No, no. It's always supposed to be 3D. It's always oh. 3D. And what's the fastest way how we can achieve that? Huh? So we don't want to get the computer mired down in some crazy math that the math, 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 math. And then you have to wait one second for the next frame to paint, right? Wow. You have to see well, what's the quickest way how we can get that math either bypassed or we only do the math that's really needed so that then you can have uh, the game playing. Right? That oh. was in 